Danielle Scott has played in every Olympic Games since 1996, breaking the United States volleyball record for Olympic appearances. Two weeks ago, Scott was inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. That's where Jory Perry's caught up with the volleyball great. I'm joined here now with Danielle Scott. Now, Danielle, we're here at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. You're being inducted into the 2019 class. What does it mean to be here with family and just be here in Natchitoches? It's Miss Jory. Thank you so much for uh, being here and taking an interest in this wonderful event. It's such an exciting time. You know, you work so hard throughout your career, not expecting something like this, but when it happens, it's like such an honor. And that my family and friends, some who've come down from New York to be here with me and share in this occasion, it's really awesome. You've been to five consecutive Olympic Games. Were there any that stood out to you? They all stand out. I mean, um, only 12 Olympians make uh, a team. And um, I guess the first one was really awesome because it was in Atlanta. So at home in front of family, it was a, I was a rookie. And then just on through, they all have different significance. 2000, we were the underdog and we played for the bronze. We didn't win, but you know, um, the underdog's doing really well. In 2004, I was Athens. That was really exciting back um, where all the games began. Right? And, and then in 2008, we won our first silver medal since I've been with the team, so the second of our USA history. So that was really exciting, able to play for Long Ping in her home country and then to do so well. And then finally in 2012, um, it was like pulling teeth and a gnawing back to get on the team after having had my daughter, Juliane. So that was really special. And then to capture a silver again. Uh, so they all have significance and importance. You know, anytime you can represent your country, it's an exciting time. Danielle, thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, Danielle. She's going to be back here in town next weekend at the Olympic Days down at LSU Shreveport. That's